You know, when you walk in Christ Jesus, and you go through your life with Christ Jesus day to day, you have to be courageous. You can't be timid. You can't be timid. You can't be a coward. Because that's how the enemy will devour you when you don't have courage and you don't stand strong with Christ Jesus. Because this world is going to throw a lot of things at us. We're going to be persecuted. You know what I'm saying? We're going to be hated because Jesus said a prophet is not welcome in his hometown. That's why he went all through Samaria, Decapolis, everywhere to preach the gospel. And he was persecuted. He was tortured. He was hated. So you got to stand strong and have courage. You know what I'm saying? I wrote a poem about courage. You know what I'm saying? And I'm um, about to recite it to you now. You ready for this? Well, all righty then, let's go. Let's get this Holy Spirit party started, right? Courage. The Lord gives me courage and strength in a world filled with hate. It is on that name, that name Jesus, on whom I wait. The comfort of his rod and staff shall comfort me and protect me wherever I go. His grace and mercy he extends to me. I give him my life. I give him total control. Whenever I am in doubt or have just an inkling of fear, I speak that name Jesus and he reminds me that he is always near. I hold him to his promises through the shedding of his son's blood. He shall protect me from this world's wickedness and shelter me from the oncoming flood. I long to meet my Savior face to face. I shall be with him to give him a warm embrace. I shall always walk in God's will and be under his grace. I am fortified by his mercy and by his authority. I live for my Savior Jesus because, you see, he died for me. This world has nothing on me. I am spiritually correct in the kingdom of God, you see. When that old wicked serpent, that one called Satan, tries to tempt me, I tell him, Get behind me, Satan, for I gave you back everything you ever gave me. Walking in God's grace and doing my Father's will keeps me protected. I am never neglected. This vessel he has selected, and I do his will as requested. When I stand in formation with the kingdom saints, which is the army of God, there shall be no evil that shall come upon us, and that wicked serpent, that one called Satan, shall not have a place among us to trod. <laughs> when I open and read my Bible every day that I wake, that evil one, that one called Satan, gets a tremendous headache. When I praise the Lord and say that name, oh, that name, Jesus, before and even after I go to sleep, that evil one, that one called Satan, begins to weep. His knees become weak. He won't be able to stand. He won't be able to snatch you from God's hand. When I go to church to praise Jesus and his magnificent name throughout the body of Christ is praised, that wicked one, that one called Satan, becomes disoriented. He becomes dismayed. Just the mere mention of Jesus' name puts that evil one, that wall, that one called Satan, to shame. He starts to fumble. He won't be able to speak. All he can do is mumble. Throw that name Jesus at him each time and watch that evil one stumble and become humble. Ha! This is why I do not worry about the troubles of this world, you see. For if God is with me, who, tell me who, can stand against me? Amen. Praise the Lord. Praise Him. Praise Him. Give Him praise and give Him all the glory. Because our lives with Jesus is a never-ending story. Love you all. Y'all have a blessed and prosperous day. Amen. And remember to keep Jesus with you every way. Amen.